guys, how's it going? So I thought it was about time to make a updated version of the automatic fish farm that I had on my channel. And I actually did update it um, to work in the newest snapshot. Um, so it's 1.16 ready. Um, but what I found out, um, quite unfortunately, because this has been in the game for a while actually, what I found out is my design is complete garbage. Um, it's super big, it requires redstone, you know, it requires a huge investment of a bunch of different items and blocks, like it requires a bunch of iron. And it's just overall large and clunky. And I was hot going around Reddit the other day, and I found this, uh, which is absolutely tiny. I don't, I don't know who made this or who came up with the idea um, for this, but it's super simple. All you have is this water block fence, and that is the fishing source you fish out of. So you fish out of it like this. You just look at the trap door here, and then hold down right click, and that's literally it. And it fishes perfectly fine, uh, just like any other block. You can stand back here on this chest and fish as well. Um, and that way items will go into the hopper instead of your inventory. Um, you know, it's super, super elegant, super tiny, and it doesn't require any redstone at all. So no redstone whatsoever. I mean, all it has is the, the pressure plate and the trap door, and that's literally pretty much it. That gives you um, everything you need. You don't even need to have hoppers. If you want to just block off these hoppers, for example, right, and just sit here and fish forever and fill up your inventory, then you'll fill up your inventory. But, of course, uh, this is an automatic fish farm, so we're going to be here for a while, which is why we're going to need to fill up some chests. So, better to have it like this, I think. Um, so, let's get started. It's super, super easy to build. Uh, I don't really know why it took me so long to figure something this simple out. Um, I just completely forgot waterlogged blocks were in the game. But anyways, let's go ahead and build it. It's super easy. I'm sure you can get it just by looking at it. It's only like a few blocks. So, all you can do is put some chests here. Um, have a hopper running into it. Place a fence here. Dig out the block right there. Put some water in the fence right add a note block and then we're just going to add some white concrete to mute the note block oops that way it doesn't make noise and then we add the pressure plate and the trap door against this block here and that's it let's set the time today that's literally it. it's completely finished already this is literally all you need and this will work completely fine so just hold your own right click and make sure that your cursor is on the note block so that way you're interacting with the note block. Right, because if you're not interacting with the note block, what happens is you actually reel in your rod. Here, we want to interact with the note block. There you go. And that's literally it. This will fish for you infinitely. Um, and to expand it out, you just add a hopper underneath it and then add more chests. And you can bring this all the way down to bedrock if you wanted to and then have some ladders here. Oops. <laughs> Speaking of bedrock, there it is. Um, and then add some more chests. And, and that way you can stay here forever. Now, on to the actual fishing forever, um, because a lot of people actually don't know how to do that. If you just wanted to see how to make this, this is the end of the video. But for those who want to get a little bit more information on how to actually fish forever, I'm going to show you um, the one book you need, and that's this book right here. It's a mending book. Um, this enchanted book here makes it so that whenever you fish, um, if you enchant your fishing rod to have mending, whenever you fish you get XP, and mending repairs your item after you fish. So, if I go into game mode survival here, you'll notice that using my fishing rod drains its durability. In fact, using it on blocks like this drains it really fast, as you can see it in the bottom right corner there, right? But, if I was to um, get an anvil here, I don't think there's an anvil around here. Let's go back into creative mode. And get an anvil. And then what we're going to do is we're going to enchant this uh, fishing rod with mending, just like so. And let's see if we can see the durability uh, right here. The durability is 34 right now. We're going to go ahead and catch a fish. This might take a while because I don't have any luck of the sea or any lure whatsoever. Or I uh, lure, lure is the better one for just catching fish. If you want more fish, use lure. And okay, so there we go. We're at 34, right? Yeah, now we're at 40. So as you can see, we actually went up in durability even though we're using our fishing rod. So this allows us to just sit here and fish forever because we'll actually repair our fishing rod faster than we'll break it. Okay, so on to actually how to fish forever. Once you've got your mending rod, uh, and whatever other enchants you want on it, you just need to have mending. If you want lure and lock of the sea, that'll speed things up and you'll get better loot. Um, but you really just need mending by itself. All you have to do is just hold down right click with your mouse, look at the block, note block, and then just unplug your mouse. That's literally it. 
And then once you unplug your mouse, if you notice, you can let go of right click and the game will still think you're holding right click. You can even plug your mouse back in if you want to, like this. And so long as you don't press right click again, the game will just think you've been holding right click the entire time. And now you can, you know, go to bed or something, you know, turn off your screen and go sleep or uh, do whatever you got to do. Uh, and you'll just sit here and fish forever. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you really like the video, be sure to subscribe. And if there's anything else you want me to cover in Minecraft tutorial wise, or if you are just curious about any game mechanic, definitely let me know. I plan to make a bunch of these uh, videos in the future and I definitely want to pump out some content. So thanks for even finding my video in the first place. My channel's super tiny, so it's a marvel that you even found me. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. Take care.